This is an overnight trip into the Bandelier Wilderness in Bandelier National Monument near Los Alamos, New Mexico. I started this trip at the Ponderosa Trailhead, taking the Ponderosa Trail to where it meets the Upper Alamo Trail and then following that to the Middle Alamo Trail, ultimately camping near the intersection of the Middle Alamo and Tierra Media Trails. This 8.5 mile one-way trip features stunning views and strenuous hikes in and out of the Upper Frijoles and Upper Alamo Canyons. It also features cultural sites like the Shrine of the Stone Lions, which is an active Cochiti Pueblo shrine, and the long abandoned ancestral Pueblo and village Yapashi Pueblo. One of the things that makes backpacking in Bandelier sort of challenging is that there's really just not a lot of water sources. This, uh, we're in Upper Frijoles Crossing, it's pretty much uh, like one of a few reliable water sources in the wilderness. So I'm actually carrying over six liters of water right now, which makes hiking a little tough, but um, you know, it's better to have water than to be thirsty.
climbing out of Upper Alamo Canyon now, um, my original plan, I've actually, I've hiked in Bandelier once before, and I loved the Alamo Canyon portion, and apparently then I thought it would be possible to do kind of like a traverse of the canyon bottom, even though there's no trail. Um, I think I was sort of like misremembering, maybe I was remembering Lower Alamo Canyon, which uh, there's a lot fewer trees, but this area, I mean, there was a lot of down trees. It didn't really feel like, uh, you know, climbing over a bunch of deadfall. So I've decided to basically just um, make this trip an out and back. It was originally gonna be kind of like a lollipop, but now I think I'm just gonna go to my camp, and in the morning come out the way I came. Well, I stopped to take a breather and I thought I'd point out that uh, somewhere in this gulch, uh, right around there somewhere, um, was the first place I ever did a solo backpacking uh, night in the backcountry. Not like 20 minutes after having my tent set up and everything you know, laid out, I found um, like a skeleton. Uh, I, there weren't enough bones left for me to know what animal it was, but it definitely looked like prey, whatever it was. So. I was a little nervous after that, but the bones looked old enough that I figured uh, if it was uh, some predator or something, it was not around anymore, but I just thought that would be a funny story to share. The young men looked out over the wide expanse of the desert region and the ribbon of water shining in the setting sun. One of them, dark and slim, wearing tortoiseshell rimmed glasses, spoke in his soft voice with a slight German accent. I have not seen New York nor Chicago, but I have seen the stone lions. He smiled pleasantly as we walked on. The German man in this quote is Klaus Fuchs, the famous Manhattan Project spy who gave secrets to the USSR and was later convicted in England, but sentenced to only 14 years, as that was the maximum sentence for espionage for an allied country, which the Soviet Union was considered at the time.
Yapashi Pueblo is an abandoned ancestral Pueblo and village believed to have been inhabited from about 1200 to 1500 AD. Please respect all cultural sites in Bandelier. Please do not take or otherwise disturb any potsherds or other artifacts. I'm here at camp, um, or at least where I've chosen to be my camp. I haven't set up yet. I got here maybe. Uh, 20 minutes ago, and then I had to let the camera charge a little bit before I filmed. Um, I'm pretty beat, to be honest. Um, you know, in addition to carrying my six liter bag of water, I've been carrying this, a bear canister. So um, the, mo the National Monument requires you to carry a bear canister or bear bag, but by bear bag they really mean those like ursac, ursac style bags. Um, they claim that there's not enough trees to hang up a, a regular bag. Yeah, maybe. But, uh, so yeah, I mean this thing weighs like two and a half pounds by itself. So, I mean just between this and that six liter bag of water, that's like, oh, I don't know. Quick math tells me about 16 pounds, 17 pounds. So just like not including the food, this and that, 17 pounds. So definitely been tiring. Um, I mentioned bear canisters, but the National Monument also has um, a little bit of red tape. You need a back kind of permit. So where I'm camped right now, um, I actually had to hike about half a mile east in Pashi Pueblo. Um, to get outside of like a no camping zone. Turns out that there is at least one useful side effect to bringing the bear canister. It makes a decent you know, seat when there's not any big rocks and not really many big logs either. I'm cooking right now a lasagna with a meat sauce. Not one I would have picked, but it was given to me and eh, might as well eat it. Um, I did not bring any adult beverages since uh, I knew weight would be an issue. But uh, here I have this apple cider. So, cheers, guys. And you know, it's very fall themed as well. So, tastes like a green Jolly Rancher that's 20 years old. What's a Halloween special without a scary book and a Halloween Reese's? Speaking of scary things, I'm like 60% sure that there's bear prints on this trail. I'll show you guys in a second. So that's what I found. I need another. I need bear with me. Seems like they go this way. I have no idea if these are bear prints. But uh, there's no dogs allowed in the wilderness. And they don't look like horse or stock prints. And I don't even think stock are allowed back here. So definitely weird. I'm gonna keep an eye out, but uh, I'm not too worried.
The last major bit of red tape at Bandelier that I haven't mentioned yet is that they are in perpetual stage one fire restrictions, which means no campfires and uh, no smoking, at least not on the trails. So probably gonna tuck in, maybe enjoy the sunset a little bit longer. Um, I have a really early start tomorrow morning. Um, basically, I've been without internet since Thursday and since I work from home, teleworking, it's kind of a big deal. And the quickest they could come was uh, 1 p.m. on Sunday. So I'm trying to get out of here fast enough to where I can get home before the cable guy gets there. So I'll see you in the morning for a sign off. But otherwise, good night. Hi guys, it's about uh, 6.25 right now. I'm all packed up and about to head out. Um, as I said, Earlier, you know, I have to get home at kind of like an early time, so I'm sort of in a rush, so I probably won't be filming much. I'm taking the same way back, so you guys have already seen everything. Um, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it that uh, people are watching the stuff I'm doing. So hopefully you enjoy it, um, but I'll see you next time, guys. All right, action.